boxers, I'm on racing, uh, I'm on Husqvarna, KTM, and uh, Henson, FXR, X-Brand goggles, Enzo suspension, my mechanic Ted, and uh, you know, just everyone that's been supporting me. What about that race there, that 35 plus class? What, uh, what went on out there? Man, I got a whole shot and kept her, uh, I kept the rubber side down on the ground, which is good. I've been crashing a lot this weekend, so it was good to stay off the ground, and that's the key. And my speed's getting there. I'm, I'm feeling better, and uh, just really excited to be here. You're going to see it more of these majors and maybe the amateur nationals this year? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll be in Freestone in about a week and a half, and then Loretta's, and who knows what else. All right, man. Good luck to you. That right there is Greg Schnell. He is your senior 35 or junior vet 35 plus Ricky Carmichael amateur supercross champion. And of course, uh, we head down on over to the uh, track side again where we got another race underway. Women's class underway. Thank you, Rodney Tomlin. It's Hurricane Hannah. Hannah Hodges out front right now on the 172. Hodges has changed everything about her program this year, different bikes, different trainers. I talked to her a bit on Friday. She was here for press day as we promoted the yep. amateur side. It's cool to talk to her. And Jasmine Canfield to the number two spot. Shelby Rowland is third. Samantha Peters and Katie Benson fifth. Jordan Jarvis, who is your WMX champion, sixth on lap one so this is going to get interesting the and, players up front and man you talk about different personalities different styles uh different everything these ladies right here that, that's what we're talking about yeah exactly and when when you do a full program makeover week when when you go full program uh bike uh, personnel uh clothing fun training yeah. yep it doesn't always work okay no. uh cooper webb Proved that it does yes. and can, you know, when done correctly. And right here is another uh, perfect example of that, Hannah Hodges. Dude, it's Jordan working. Jarvis across that start stretch. Oh, she could not have left it on any later. I mean, that bike was dancing up the face of that jump. She just made a quick pass. She moved into fifth around Samantha Peters. So Jarvis, actually, that will put her into fourth. Shelby Rowland, third. Jasmine Canfield, and then it's Hodges. You're watching, that's the number 30 of Jarvis right there on the screen, racertv.com, not the start she wanted. She's on the comeback trail. Got eight laps to make it happen. There is Canfield on her number 46, trying to keep Hodges in sight. I love how it's all come together here. Canfield and Jarvis battled for years as youth riders. Now they're all about the same. They're all adults, essentially, yep. along with Hodges, and we got some racing. Oh, yes, <laughs> no question about it. Here's Jarvis. On the number 30, coming right in our backyard behind our uh, announcer's tower. Watch his charge right here. Holy cow, Weege. I didn't realize my, that is rough. My <laughs> goodness, dude, yeah. for sure. I haven't yep. paid any attention like you said. My to, goodness. Yeah, we've, we've been watching the front side of that jump on the screen, but the back right. side is whooped out. Ooh. Yep. So there's Jarvis on your screen, the number 30, JJ. She's your WMX champion from last year. And both she and Hannah Hodges have said the goal for sure is to try to make some professional supercross races Absolutely. against the guys. Yeah, yep. yep. And, and I got to tell you, um, I, I have to think that that is a uh, more legitimate claim than, than, than Vicky Golden any day. Uh, they you got know. some skills. Yeah, yeah. no yep. doubt about it. No, I'm not discrediting Golden by yeah. any means. But they just keep stepping the level up. Let me yeah. tell you something. You're never going to roll a triple and make a main event. <laughs> okay? There's but not consequently, gonna be any she, yeah. consequently, she's making money doing backflips on a dirt bike right now. She's fearless, so, no doubt yeah. about that. Yeah. But, you know, yep. that skill set was just different placement, and it just wasn't the right time for it to happen. But Jarvis has got that. Huh. Hodges has got it. And don't forget Canfield, who's sandwiched between them right now in second. So this is going to be a good battle. That's right. Halfway through an eight-lap race. Hodges in the lead. But we're watching Canfield and second in the 30 of Jarvis in third. You mentioned Canfield, her tenacity came on real young. Two years ago, one of the most incredible passes I've ever seen at Loretta Lynn's come at the price of somebody oh, <laughs> that okay. she went by. Uh, it might know. have been Jarvis, dude. Those but, two have battled over and over and over. 
Bike laid over, feet up, third gear wide open, kicks out a one berm. She never lets off till it lands in the next. She you know, didn't even care. Impressive. Yeah. Impressive. Oh, you can hear him. It sounds like thunder coming through behind us. Hodges and Canfield now applying the pressure. One of them found the rev limiter right there. Absolutely. I heard one of them pop. Yep. So it's tightening up your top three. 172 of Hodges in the lead. 46 of Canfield right behind her is in second. There's Hodges through the rollers over the big table. You know, talking about this, I was hoping Hurricane Hannah, you know, it would be her deal, but you know, here instead, uh, all the kids being different, new voice lessons, Jerry West ball. My, mine thinks she's Barkley. Mine oh. thinks she's a cross between Charles Barkley and Dennis Rodman on the ball court. Oh, really? Oh, oh. dude, it's, it's ridiculous. Did you pick those two names specifically? Like she'll get down and dirty <laughs> in there? That's a. She'll let throw me some elbows? Let me tell you something. She'll <laughs> go after a rebound like Barkley, okay? Okay. Like it's nothing. <laughs> but once again, that's fine. I was hoping to build bikes for her, but I'm buying tennis shoes instead. Well, that's a lot cheaper, so that's all right. right yep. So here is Hodges in the lead, and Canfield in the 46 right behind her. And Jarvis, no, Jarvis not making up ground. In fact, these two have right. pushed each other. Exactly. Last time around, they were a second quicker. Right. That's our old buddy Jessica Coombs there, the number seven. Good to see Jess, the moto mom out there. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. In the mix. Yep. Hodge is doing a great job, man, because the pressure is being applied by Canfield. I know I've said that like seven times, but she has been close, and Hodges has not made a mistake. White flag. Oh, my goodness. This will feel good if Hodges Th can hang on to it. This will be. She's backed by JMC Racing, Troy Lee Designs, Dunlop, Renthal, Ethica, and Scott Goggles. Does Canfield have something left? Hodges is stretching it out. Really nice work right there through the traffic week. Yeah, yeah. Could, would have been easy to over jump right there. Go for three. Go ahead and push, push the subject a little bit, but nice. Yeah, she has responded to the challenge. Three laps ago, Canfield had her in her sights. Impressive. And Hodges pulled back away. Impressive. Going to be a hard-earned win of the women's yep. class. Two turns to go. Then after all that, you got to go talk to Smoogie. Yeah, sorry about that, everybody. Don't fill that out on your feedback survey card <laughs> of what you liked and didn't like about the event. In the comment section? Yeah. <laughs> Checkered flag is out. Hannah Hodges wins the women's class. Wow. Great job by all these ladies.